The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of Leviticus. Yahweh spoke to Moses and said, These are Yahweh's solemn festivals, the sacred assemblies to which you will summon the Israelites on the appointed day. The fourteenth day of the first month, at twilight, is the Passover of Yahweh. And the fifteenth day of the same month is the Feast of Unleavened Bread for Yahweh. For seven days you will eat unleavened bread. On the first day you will hold a sacred assembly. You will do no heavy work. For seven days you will offer food burnt for Yahweh. On the seventh day there will be a sacred assembly. You will do no heavy work. Yahweh spoke to Moses and said, Speak to the Israelites and say, When you enter the country which I am giving you, and reap the harvest there, you will bring the priest the first sheaf of your harvest, and he will present it to Yahweh with the gesture of offering, for you to be acceptable. The priest will make this offering on the day after the Sabbath. From the day after the Sabbath, the day on which you bring the sheaf of offering, you will count seven full weeks. You will count 50 days to the day after the seventh Sabbath. And then you will offer Yahweh a new cereal offering. But the tenth day of this seventh month will be the day of expiation. You will hold a sacred assembly. You will fast and offer food burnt for Yahweh. Speak to the Israelites and say, On the fifteenth day of this seventh month, there will be the Feast of Shelters for Yahweh lasting for seven days. The first day will be a day of sacred assembly, and you will do no heavy work. For seven days you will offer food burnt for Yahweh. On the eighth day you will hold a sacred assembly, and you will offer food burnt for Yahweh. It is a day of solemn meeting. You will do no heavy work. These are Yahweh's solemn festivals to which you will summon the Israelites the sacred assemblies for the purpose of offering food burnt for Yahweh, consisting of burnt offerings, cereal offerings, sacrifices, and libations, each on its appropriate day. And our response is from Psalm 81. Blow the trumpet for the new month, for the full moon, for our feast day. For Israel has this statute, a decision of the God of Jacob, a decree he imposed on Joseph, when you went to war against Egypt. I heard a voice unknown to me. I freed his shoulder from the burden. His hands were able to lay aside the laborer's basket. I, Yahweh, am your God who brought you here from Egypt. You have only to open your mouth for me to fill it. My people would not listen to me. Israel would have none of me. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. And coming to his hometown, Jesus taught the people in their synagogue in such a way that they were astonished and said, Where did this man get this wisdom and these miraculous powers? This is the carpenter's son, surely. Is not his mother the woman called Mary? And his brothers James and Joseph and Simon and Jude, his sisters too. Are they not all here with us? So where did the man get it all? And they would not accept him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is despised only in his own country and in his own house. And he did not work many miracles there because of their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord.